again, to me, right. these just look like overlying, I mean, multiple episodes yep. of uh, glacial activity. So you can but see... But if you start, if just for a second, if you start here on the vertical, and you see this vertical there, and then you notice the array like of the verticals that are actually lined up in kind of... I guess you can say perfect parallel symmetry is all I'm saying. It, it, yeah. it appears to hold, even though the natural striations are there, there's the overlayment of this, this other clearly vertical and like linear kind of format. And now here it looks like there's a centerpiece and you can see it's kind of like a bridge of a book, right? And then here across the top, you can see that it says on one side and on the other, there's, there's almost like the image or the appearance of almost like a couple of tablets. And again, the one, the one tablet that was there said that, you know, the parable of the hidden treasure was a part of it and the books of revelations were a part of it. So I was just, I just noticed the reference and how it looks because I found it like unique. I mean, it, it is very, very cool. Um, <coughs> geologists would certainly be very interested in it. No. And, I, and I bet my colleague, Stephen Wright, who's a glacial geologist, yeah. has been down here. Because we, it does... Do you, see the, do you see from this angle, there's an even, uh, like, a, like a squared or I can say parallelogrammed, you know, sequence as well. So, I mean, there are natural striations, but then you can see there are new ones that don't host the growth of any kind of plant, you know, so they're fairly, I would think that they were fairly new to some degree. And if you notice up here, things become very geometric at that point, almost like a zenith to some point, yeah. uh, you know, like a star at, at, at some kind of like position that they're focusing on. I, I was thinking maybe that would be something of interest. From this side, you can also see a heart shape at the top there, kind of peeking out. It's kind of perception, that yeah, sort of no, thing. I, I mean, I agree. It's a, it's a remarkably... Uh, yep. Uh, it's a remarkably uh, detailed picture. Yeah. Uh, and you know, yep. Again, and, and oh, skepticism yeah. would yeah. likely attribute that to just multiple levels of glacial yep. overlying. Yep. And here again, we have the same carrying through here. You know, also pushing the same, I guess you can say, parallel nature. You see? Yep. Everything in like a perfect geometric parallel. And then as you move here, you see right here, there's the heart stone that you were just told to look for right there. So right there you have kind of like the triangle, like an arrow pointing that way. And there's a heart, you can clearly see it on the left side, chipped out, cut out, a flat side, flattened there. And then here you have other striations that are really important. Because when you look from this side, you see that diagonal coming down here with that diagonal going up there? Yep. And the keystone look at the top? That right there was what was mentioned in the other clues that were there. So these are all pieced together with themes, in, in my opinion, that they hold reference to the previous clues. But then you can, you can kind of walk down and you can kind of just see for yourself the best, the best part of it. <clears throat> This is where this is where I think you're gonna like your your analysis of rock will probably just kind of take off. Do you notice here how there there's almost like a, a natural striation there where there's not much of it anywhere else on this on that area holding that same pattern, and then here you notice there's like a cut. You see how it zigzags yep. to a cut, and then there's also if you look this way it forms like almost like an arrow going that way or almost like an arrow going this way like this way this way, but it appears like an S shape with the, the lines that are cut there. On the stone that's in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, it actually has that. That these four lines are cut across and it tells you to look for a cross. So we're yeah, a bit... I mean, these, these lines, yeah. you know, I, I don't know about the interpretation, but they do, they do look, you know, more recent, perhaps. Yep. Um, now here, here you notice this rock here, you notice the chip off the old block there at the yep, top. Yep. You notice on the outside, it's kind of, you know, it's just really flat. It's got a few crooks on the end, you know, some, some runs or whatever. But here, everything is very geometric. And you notice this is an arrow that comes up. You notice the X, the X in the parallel stuff is there? Yeah. Well, it shows an arrow that comes out, and you see the arrow carb there to a lower area down there. So it's kind of showing you to go to another location. Well, again, I <coughs> the X is, is kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, that might be more recent, but... Yeah. 
it, the reason why I think that <coughs> that side is different is it, it calved off the edge at one point. Oh. So that would have been on the top. I see what you're but saying. But it just, it fell, mm -hmm. and that's where it's landed. So you're, you know, like up here you have that stuff, but this just right. fell. Yeah, it, it's kind of like a lower strata. You see where the colors change and yeah. everything? So if it had fallen, it probably would be of a different color. And I, I wouldn't argue against your idea, but I think it would come off of this layer. It could have, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then be carved in a certain way. That is known as a hooked X there. That, that image right there, that centerpiece with the A and all of those little zigzag lines, <clears throat> that's like a navigational tool. That's like a mason's compass, but it's a navigational version. So, I mean, <clears throat> taking that concept and then just kind of working right here, you, you see that everything is really flat here, right? Yep. yep. And you notice <clears throat> along this edge, there's, um, you know, some cut pieces or maybe they're broken off. And then here along this, this area is kind of like an inlet, right? Yep. Well, that same A, if you step right here, following the, this strata right here, it's gone all the way up here, the same one that I had thought was carved by all these little small pock marks, right? Where you can see the chip. Yep, yep. And then here is that same X that's right over there. It's put right here into this A. You see what I mean? Yep. So that same shape is taken off that rock and then made right here. So we're looking for that kind of path. And then you're walking the rock. <coughs> You're walking the rock and you come to, again, more scored marks. There are the scored marks that are the same. Here are the scored marks that are the same. You see? Yep. So from here, you come down and you, you can see if it was to get wet, but there's a strong M here, M-like shape, with like a diagonal, almost like a mathematical. Do you see that? Yep. Yep. Do you see that? With the M there, with the lines coming in from the diagonal. So, there's some sort of linear navigational point that he's pointing at from this section to the other side over there, which is one of the other inlets. So this is basically a charted area that you were supposed to come into. The hooked X is like an anchor, anchor symbol, right? And so that was like the point he weighed anchor. So fi finally at this section right here, oh, Careful. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so I just showed you the S on the end, yeah. the A when it was laid there. Now the M was right there on the little mathematical point. Then there's the U and the E are right here, but there, there's really no L. I guess you'd have to go up there to find the L, right? But look at how this is cut here. Everything has been smoothed out and there's certain lines that are laid out. So you're supposed to go to a high point here where it X is and then down into a valley, cause see, see the mark right here? You yep. see the sword? And so you come into here to the X, and then here that's kind of like a point that sticks out, and then you go up to the elephant's head. And that's supposed to be a symbol of the, the mount because that's an M, but look how it goes up and over that direction. It's pointing right from here at that, that mountain. And you're supposed to find that X once you get up there. I swear to God, look, two parallel lines here and here with the geometry cut with the sword right there. 